It's a dog's life, isn't it? Well, I say that, I suppose it depends on your perspective and what kind of dog you are and where you live, but I'd like to be my dog, that's for sure. Uh, hello, welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries. We have fitted the 24 tooth front drive sprocket to the Dynastar, and doesn't it look absolutely huge? But it looks rather well as well. I think there's uh, limited clearance here, but if I make a chain guard at this side and bolt it to this, that kind of fixes that problem. Uh, and I can always remake this because we're not fitting the uh, one-way valve in here anymore. So that doesn't need to be quite so uh, thick. I can make a smaller part and then the, this, this hex bolt will move in out of the way of the chain. So we're all good there. Uh, but that's the job for another time. It's not something I need, I need to worry about right now. We have our super accurate calibrated by the National Physics Laboratory, uh, I'm joking, uh, a Chinese thing that I've borrowed that's a rev counter. So this magnet here goes round, I hold that next to it and that gives me a display. But when I tried to video it earlier, <coughs> excuse me, when I tried to video that earlier, this was a bit flickery, just something to do with the fact that there are LEDs in there and I suppose they're pulse width modulated to keep the brightness down and the, the camera's not picking it up particularly well. But I'll try again. So what I need now, I need a beautiful assistant to press the button on the other side while I manually hold this next to the magnet there uh, as still as I can and as close as I can so that we get a reading on here and see what we get. We've got a nice fresh battery. So I'm going to ask Mr. Bob if he'd pay us a visit. Uh, and then we can also talk about that um, potentially sodium filled valve and see what we think of that. But first things first, let's test the Dynastart. Right, here we go. So we have this beautiful ref counter. We have a beautiful assistant, Mr. Bob, just on the other side off camera there. Uh, that hopefully will give us a number and uh, we'll see what RPM we get. Give it, a, give it a hit, Bob. Ah, there's nothing happening. I can't, ah. well, I can't get in. <laughs> I've got it at the wrong side. Uh, I think it's the right one. Just bear with us. There we go, yeah. Hey? Just, just push. Okay, right. So, I see one push harder. Yeah, just push a bit harder. So, maximum we've got there is about 350 rpm, and with the smallest rocket, we were getting 390. All oh, right. So, so, we might be sort of topping out the. Yeah, and that's that's a little bit warm that terminal. Not not hot hot, considering how long it's been on. Just a no. tiny bit of smoke coming off it. Um, so it looks like we might be on the slightly smaller sprocket. We can fit it again because that's only a two-minute job, uh, and then we can check the RPM again. We'll do that in just a moment, and oh. then we'll then we'll know which one we're using. Stand yeah. by. Okay, let's go. Right, camera's rolling. Hold up that there. One hand, this hand probably. Oh, this one here. Okay, Bob, give it a whiz. Okay. 400 we got that time. Is that more than before? Yeah, it was more than before. Yeah, definitely. 400? What is yeah. that? That's RPM? Four, four, uh, RPM, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll stick this on one of the machines and we'll calibrate it and make sure it's giving us a reasonably accurate figure. And uh, we'll let you know how we go. So, this yeah. is the one, the 19. Well, that was to be spot. expected. It'd be slightly below the 450, which is the 900 crank. Yeah, one. yeah, we, which I'm, I'm happy with that. So, we'll call that a success. Yeah, right. So there we have it. It looks like it's the 19 tooth front sprocket, not the 24. When you go up to um, 1 to 2 reduction, there isn't quite enough torque in the Dynastart to spin everything over. Bob popped round earlier. He said he's done some calculations on the gear ratio of 19 to 44 teeth and that the peak RPM of the Dynastart should give us 409 RPM. I think I saw 410 looking back at the previous video on the uh, super accurate 
uh, rev counter so yeah it looks like we've got 400 let, let's say nominal 400 rpm which i think should be plenty to uh, at least knock the bike over top dead center so the last thing we've got to think about is that sodium filled valve now i've got the sodium well we think it might be sodium filled we've got that that big valve and a few people have commented to say they think it might be sodium filled so i spoke to bob about it that would be a bit of a disaster if it was because we would have to well not a disaster it just means that it would be a shame to spoil the valve we've got it can go back on the mantelpiece uh, and we make a brand new one rather than start machining it and have the machining operation fail because it's actually hollow so i've got that in the oven at the moment and uh, it's just baking away nicely and any moment now i'm expecting the timer to go off and i can retrieve it for the oven so let, let's go and see how that's doing we'll do what somebody suggested it's in the oven baking as hot as i can get it we'll give it a shake and see if it feels or sounds like there's any kind of liquid sodium inside and then we'll have an idea we have put a file on the valve and the file does um work quite well so it doesn't appear to be hardened um which is quite promising i don't know if you can hear that but that's the beeper for the kitchen uh which means they're probably done about now mm, smells delicious right let's go through have a look here we are back in the kitchen just about done and if you follow the instructions properly maybe your donuts will also end up looking just like fanny's or something like that so i try not to uh, burn my hand live on the internet this is the valve i can't hear anything give it a shake doesn't feel like there's much in there but of course not quite sure what the melting point of sodium is Oof, i know what the melting point of um silicon is and we're probably not far off that inconclusive is the answer for that one but i'll give it another shake in a minute off the camera and see what we think but um yeah inconclusive more on the exhaust valve later but for now that's it for the weekend as usual thank you for watching more updates will follow